Although electronic cigarettes or e-cigs were invented in the 1960s, their popularity in the last decade is bringing brand new public policy questions to the county. An e-cig is an electronic battery-powered device that creates a vapor cloud that looks like cigarette smoke when exhaled. The e-liquid comes in countless flavors and the user can choose the level of nicotine. I'm here at the vaping section in San Diego with Frixton to learn more about e-cigarettes. So Frixton, could you tell us how e-cigarettes work? Yeah, uh, basically you put this liquid, this is lemon cheesecake, different flavors. Uh, you put it on the wick right here. Basically you put it on your mod, which is, holds the battery. Battery, the mod. Screw it on, and uh, put the cap on. Pick it up, babe. Oh, wow. Yeah. Vista and Carlsbad voted to restrict e-cigs in public places, and now San Diego is considering similar regulations. I could see us more moving in the direction of restricting the use in certain public places. I think that's more likely the, what's going to happen. As I said, if there's a good side to these that, that people could use them to see smoking, then we'd like to, I personally would like to see that happen, but it's got to be in a controlled framework where it isn't offensive to other people. Currently, there are no state and federal regulations on e-cigs, but many vapor shops have voluntarily restricted sales to kids. According to the Center for Disease Control, the number of middle and high school students using e-cigs more than doubled from 3.3 to 6.8 percent between 2011 and 2012. What is disturbing, though, is the literally millions of youngsters that have experimented with these. And uh, again, it's just, uh, you know, I'm sure there's a big number that experiment with smoking. But it isn't something we want to condone. It's one, it's, we want to prevent it. We want to educate. And we, we really, at, this, at, the, at the end of all this, we want our, the people in this community to have an opportunity for healthier lives. The potential benefits of e-cigs are also being considered. Unlike your gums or your patches, you still have most of the portions of the addiction there. You still have the hand-to-mouth uh, obsession, you still have the throat hit. As I'm getting ready to get the nicotine out of my system, I can just wean myself off by going all the way down to the zero milligram liquid and that will get the nicotine completely out of my system and from that point, if I ever want to put this down, then it's just a mental addiction. E-cigs bring new opportunities and challenges to our community and while the future remains unclear, addressing this technology can help us all breathe easier. This is Ronnie Doss with News Scene.